Alright. Here we go. Alright. Good morning, actually. What time is it? Good evening, Kirihiko in the Schweiz. We have one of our mods here. Mod number prime. Mod prime. Gotta stop mumbling. Got crispy egg roll. Let's see. Got, uh, who else do we have? Spiky summer. <laughs> For whatever reason, chat is updated, but the video feed is not. There we go. <laughs> what the? Okay. Oh boy. One second, guys. It's a little bit of the problem. I think that looks a little bit better. Rohan Dota, yes it is. Welcome in. Good Sunday. Let me um, pull this window out. <clears throat> This one forward. All right, we're filling up here. Good morning, Pity eighty three. We got a bunch of activity. We got uh, twenty two Bonilla cupcakes resub resubbing for eight months. Mark L Messi Reaper fifteen eighty two Golden Hands one. Um, Jester X, Queen City Amusements, uh, Darth Laurie, Pooh Fan 12. Um, that goes back pretty far. Anyway, oh, Michael Mad 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 Michael Dem Demurgus. I have to wake up. Giovanni Sanguili. Welcome in. Ignite Comics, thank you very much for the bits. Very appreciated. Um, very generous of you. When It Rains has resubbed. Winston 1982. All right. Oh. That doesn't look good. I feel like I have to change my shirt. I'm wearing a blue shirt and that's not working. All right. You know what? I will be right back for, with a wardrobe change.
That's better. All right. Just catching up on stream here. Ezra, uh, Ezra's boy. Uh, yes, you are correct. Worst strip tease ever. Um, there is no sub level high enough. <laughs> For me to pay you now. Um, Brutal Knight 15 has resub for nine months. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Crypto Games as well. All right. Welcome back, guys. Uh, just a couple updates. Um, this coming weekend is Thanksgiving weekend. It's a holiday here in the U.S., so there will be no stream. So this is the last stream of November. Um... We're gonna do. I was very. I was kind of contemplating what I was gonna do today. And um, well, there's a lot of activity. You know what? I should probably just save the beginning parts. Just deal with this stuff. Giovanni has cheered a crap load of bits. Uh, the stream has value. I used your advice over the last six months on a Batman drawing I made for a large event, and it was a big hit. Clients are saying it was my best drawing yet. I gotta send it over for critique. Yeah, send it over, man. Discord is the way to go. You can post it live in the. I think there's a section for people to post their art. I believe. All right. Nova Primex has resub for eight months. There you go. Hey, welcome back in. Uh, Kin Maria. Kin Maria has sub has subbed tier one. Awesome. Um. Yeah, Mr. Raha99, happy Thanksgiving to you. Yeah, I wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving. It's this Thursday, um, but I will not be online this weekend. I've got some kids coming in, and we've got a bunch of stuff planned. Nova Primax asks, have, do I still have that Malcolm X hat from the 90s? I did for a long time, actually. I had a lot of hats from the 90s in a box. And uh, I don't know, I felt like a hoarder, and um, I, uh, I threw them out. I've been throwing out a lot of stuff. And uh, yeah, you know, I found a lot of old t-shirts, I mean, all sorts of stuff. You know, what's weird is that uh, my Fire tablet used to do a pretty good job of staying connected to chat that was and lately it just uh it'll pick up some chat i don't know if anyone else has noticed this using a fire tablet i have one right here um lately it just uh will show me some of it and then it just freezes up it just doesn't update anymore Let's see if it, uh, oh, there we go. All right, now, this is all good. All right. So, let's get started, but do notice there's like a hole in my chair, all these things. Alright, how's that look? I just want things to be perfect for you guys here. Alright, there we go. question is, why do I look so backlit? Hmm. 
All right. One second before we start here. I think Ren is working today, so he's not with us. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, there's the uh, <laughs> Ren Elephant <laughs> emote. All right. My arms are doing the same thing. This should be okay now. I adjusted it. All right. NRZ Kane has resubbed as has Desert Rose and Spiky Summer. Spiky Summer almost since the beginning. Minus one. Bamfart has cheered as well. Thank you very much. I'm just going to start drawing and uh, we'll ease into some conversation. A lot's happened this week, of course. for you guys. Hey, PK. Good to have you here.
If I seem a little subdued, like I said, it's been a, an eventful week. Last weekend I went to um, a service for um, a longtime Mad Magazine contributor, editor, artist, writer, Nick Meglin. He had worked at, the, uh, at Mad for like 60 years, which is a hell of a long time. And then, obviously, uh, followed by the news uh, Monday of Stanley's passing. So I thought long and hard about what I would say on the stream, and there was a part of me that didn't really want to stream. Um, but I don't think I'm going to say too much, honestly, uh, and it's not because I don't have stuff to say. It's just that I did post... Um, I think about how meaningful his work was to me, and I think I'll probably leave it at that for now. Uh, as you can imagine, there's going to be a ton of um, tributes and memorials to him in the coming year, certainly as con season picks up again. Um, what you're seeing is just the tip of the, I think, avalanche of... of uh, remembrances that uh, you're all going to see, which really speaks to his importance and its impact, not just in the world of comics, but pop culture and the world in general. So, um, you know, immediately following his death, uh, you know, there were news outlets that had contacted uh, DC, you know, contacted me or contacted DC to have me, you know, go on, go on, go on air uh, or on print to talk about it. Um, and I just, I, I just didn't feel comfortable. I think it's, uh, you know, I, I don't know if too soon is the right expression, but I just felt that uh, I, I still have to kind of work through all of it myself, I, as I think a lot of people do. Um, we knew, obviously, that Stan was, you know, he, he was up there. He was at an advanced age. And um, so you knew for sure that, you know, no one lives forever. But at the same time, it was hard to really prepare yourself for that moment. And uh, I wanted to say something about not just what a great guy he was, or how he made you feel, or how amazing all the characters were, but but really about uh, the message of his work, and I do feel that was a message, and a very important message, and a very meaningful message, and uh, and it's something that permeated all the stuff that he created. Um, if you look past the superpowers, and the uh, colorful costumes, and the uh, the names and stuff, so. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of great stuff I was looking through. I just have videos. That actually, I didn't even know I was being filmed. My assistant, Eddie, um, I put it on YouTube. Uh, he actually, my assistant, Eddie, at uh, an event uh, that I was at with Stan, we were kind of in the uh, green room, I guess. But it was also a private signing meet and greet or something i don't know what it was uh, but i was just invited to hang out so we just hung out in the back and uh my assistant put his um what were those things back then it was like a camera uh what were they called it was like a yeah, i think they were called flip flip cameras or something they had a had a usb port kind of built in he just i think he said just set it on the table and he just started recording and so i've got all these clips of me just kind of hanging out um with stan and uh you know he's like razzing me or whatever um but it's the most mundane conversation you'd ever expect but it's 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 um you know we, we didn't know we were being recorded and uh we're just hanging out and it's, you know, at some point I'm like helping him set up his, or I think I was helping him tweet some things out or something. I don't know where, or how I'm showing him how to use his phone. Um, so, and some of it, um, my assistant uh, basically 
edited together and then over um um but what he what i put up was really um me drawing so i was like drawing jean gray and you can hear the conversation that stan and i were having but there's all these other clips where it's the camera's just like on the table and stan and i are there and uh just talking and so you know brought back a lot of memories because there's many times where you just kind of sit around just talking without a crowd around but you know still super super entertaining anyway so yeah more of that to come i'm sure Kola, Kuala Karaoke Killer, the nostalgia gym. Yeah, so I first met Stan. I don't, I don't remember exactly when I first met him, but uh, the first thing we did together was these uh, Staber video tutorials. They're all on YouTube now. They're kind of funny just because I look at that stuff and it looks it's just so dated. And uh, it's from the 90s, early 90s. I think we had just decided we were going to leave marvel for image and i think there's a character that todd and rob created with stan called overt overt kill not overkill because overkill is already taken so they're like overt kill they thought they're being very clever and um uh so i think we didn't necessarily talk about it in the videos but i think at that point in internally or kind of behind the scenes we, we knew we were already gone at that point and if you look at the video, like we didn't, we didn't we didn't draw any like known characters. I think Overt Kill was the only one that was created. And that was on Rob's or Todd's. I think it was Todd's video with with Stan. Yeah, but that was like a whole day uh, event up in L.A. You know, you drive up and then I'm wearing like a ton of makeup. My it, it just my voice it just sounds so weird. It sounds like I'm eating like mar marbles, marbles, not marlboros, but marbles. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Anyway, hello, proper artists. Welcome in. DJ7500 has cheered. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Ramona the Pest has subbed. SM Carti 313 re recently betrothed um, has subbed as well. Thank you very much for the bits, uh, Queen City Amusements. Sphinxstit has subbed for 10 months. Um, Janella has cheered as well. Benji Tang has uh, has has subbed. Fico Lad has subbed using Prime. You can use your Amazon Prime membership. And you get a complimentary Twitch Prime membership, as Duke Rockwell has figured out as well. Wire Flame Comic has cheered as has Weisimer. Thank you guys. Appreciate it. Obviously, I'm drawing. Um, one of Stan's greatest creations, um, Spider-Man, in his honor. And I think uh, I have some other art that uh, I've never really posted, shared online. One has Wolverine, uh, Captain America. Another has Galactus and Silver Surfer. And... Um, I will post those when I take a little break onto the, our Discord channel for you guys to see. I think I'll post it live at some point on Insta. Um, but I give you guys, since you are supporters of this stream and have been amazing comics fans, a sneak peek. Okay. So, um, if you're wondering what Discord is, and if you're not much of a gamer, you'll be probably one of those kind of scratching their heads. The um, helpful mods will, will help you out in that. Hello, VZDA. See, it's frozen over here. Got um, 
Victor VZAD in the house. Oh, we got Kanger Banger, Jeff UTV, Golden Hands One, Cyrixian. So. Spider-Man is actually a very easy character to draw uh, structurally, right? He's uh, wiry, and the more animated you can make him look, uh, the cooler he looks. So um, you can go pretty crazy with the proportions. You can get very um, elastic with his with his uh, musculature, musculature. Um, but there's other things that just, uh, which, I, which I'll get to, that, that is all <laughs> elements of his gossip that have made me less crazy about uh, drawing him more. And uh, obviously he's been interpreted in a number of different ways. So he's a character that um, can be interpreted um, with a fair amount of variance and still work, which is always kind of cool. So if you notice, I'm like really exaggerating kind of the, uh, the bulk in his forearms and then creating more like digits kind of pads on the fingers they're almost like uh, frog uh, frog fingertips if frogs have fingers This marker is dead. It's a 0.4. It should give me a lot thicker line, but it's not. But it's alright. I'm just, I'm not even really so concerned about the lines it's giving me. I, I know I have to go back in and beef this stuff up anyway. It's about really just kind of creating a final line over the pencil lines, which are gestures. There's the, the body work. Congrats, VZA. 140,000 subs on YouTube. Very nice. Well done. Okay. Um... sure what I'm going to do background wise but let's try this create a bit of a spider web geometry and then once I find a live marker, I'm going to replace this 0.4. Mm, 0.8 is too much. You know, I bought a ton of markers, and I thought I bought way too many, but I will just say you can never have enough. 
because I think I've already gone through most of them. Alright, here we go. Nova Primex. I did. I have lived in New York. I had a, uh, a sublet back in the... Um, when did I live there? Like 1990? Um, and then I actually owned an, an apartment, a condo from 2001 to like uh, 2011. So I had a place there for about 10 years in the uh, Upper East Side. Why do you ask? I'm lost. <laughs> See, I gotta look at some reference. How does this costume work? Oh uh, boy. Okay, that makes sense. And this is probably my favorite part of the Spider-Man costume. And I'm not being facetious here. I'm not... And the part that's actually the easiest. I 
as soon as I say that, I screwed up. <laughs> oh, well. Ta Tabulo Marvel. The detail is the fun. Fun. I'm assuming you're saying the funnest part. I would agree with you there, except if you were drawing this character in a book, you'd have to do this every single time the character showed up in the story. Right. Yeah, exactly. I'm not sure if I want to draw the webbing. if I did this a lot it would be easier but I even question that depth the distance between that it's not just that you have to have the webbing going a different in the right direction I like this spacing the distance between here and here and here and here and the width of here and here I'm less crazy about that but that's kind of what I default to I've noticed in the it's like your signature, you can't, uh, can't always control it. Um, but uh, it just seems to be the kind of the natural spacing my body, mind, whatever seems to think looks right. See how those lines are kind of breaking up already. Right there, you just gotta get it in there properly. One second.
Can someone uh, ban Robo Crab too? Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Crispy. Panzer, Panzerian, Panzerian. You can uh, tune in from the DMV, I'm pretty sure. All right. No, he said other stuff that didn't show up in the feed. I denied it. There's no room for that stuff. Uh, auto mod. Very smart. Very AI. Last night I went to go see a, a movie. And my phone, like, alerts me. Because the movie's on my schedule. And it's like, do you want to go into... Uh, I don't know what the mode is. Semi privacy mode, or basically you don't get messages, don't pop through, and stuff like that, or it doesn't ring. So if if you think about the fact that AI is already listening in on all our conversations through Siri and Alexa, the day's not too far from now where. Um, your phone will ask you, hey, you have a lot of emails. Do you just want to read the important ones that need your immediate attention? And it would know from your past emails and who you email first, um, how you prioritize it even just subconsciously. And through the urgency of the actual text in the email, which one's should alert you too. It's like having a, uh, a computer assistant, which is both interesting and frightening at the same time. We see how you gotta. You have to nail this uh, pretty close to this line here. You don't want it to be a halfway. Uh, like I said, there's a way to do it. Make it look elegant, and have all like the. It's like the bricks in a house. Like if they're off by a little bit, it looks jacked. There is a way to do it. See how I like kind of crossed over the line right here? It's very hard to tell. That right there. Mm. Super annoying. So the way to do the wedding is if you have to do it super careful like this. And there's very little things on the physical form that I like drawing at that speed. And if you do it correctly, because this part is super deep in perspective, this angle of the webbing is going to have a completely different arc than this one and this one. 
So this is going to be flatter and this is going to be more in perspective. Yeah. Okay. Um, I still haven't figured out what I'm going to do with the background. Maybe I'll send out some images. Actually, I will take a photo of this. Where's my phone? One second, guys. Where is everything? How is it possible I have my phone here five seconds ago and now it's gone? Alright, this is rather embarrassing, but All right, you know what? I'll be right back, meaning I'm here, but I'm going to look for my phone, which has to be within arm's reach. All right, one second. Okay, um, one thing I'm noticing for sure is that this thank you for the sub toy kills and uh, red remedy S Vegeta 77 has subbed as well Awesome. So, That matches more what's going on over here. This leg is super long and probably looks better if it was shorter like this, given where the, um, the calf is. That kind of helps explain what I'm going to do a little with the background. So let's take a photo here. start inking in some of the stuff
you know, kids, if, any, if there are any kids out there, if you look online on YouTube, Twitch, wherever, you will find artists that uh, actually are very organized, that have all their stuff in the same spot every time they sit down to work. Their paints here, their brushes here, their pencils here, arranged by... Actually, look at this guy, Quick Draw 13. He's super organized. Um, but you don't have to be. Look at me. I have <laughs> there's just stuff lying all around, dude. It's it's embarrassing. All right. Let's just put in some chunky black shadows here. And for those of you wondering, like, what the heck I'm doing, uh, there are muscles here that um, I can kind of visualize three-dimensionally, I guess. And um, I have some line work to suggest where they begin and end. And so that allows me to go in and drop these shadows in in a way that reinforces some of the um, decisions I was making. I'm not sure if I'm going to drop a shadow on those feet or whether I'm going to do webbing on them. I forgot the webbing line right there. Thank you, uh, Dung Beetle Bra, and your uh, your uh, your Raha uh, has resubbed as well. I know the conversation has not been very scintillating, but like I said, I think certainly drawing one of Stanley's greatest creations, you can't help but think, again, a little bit about his legacy and the man who he, he was, and I think there's a part of me, I guess, knows that we'll be talking about it in the future, and I hate repeating myself like I'm performing my best of stories so I don't know I'm just waiting I don't know what I'm waiting for Hmm, I don't know what I want to do about the bottom of those feet. You know, that's the thing about the character. You can't put too many spotted shadows on the costume because it kind of obliterates the, uh, the webbing. It starts looking kind of funny. So you can put some like this, but you can't put 
too much, I don't think. Oh, maybe you can, I don't know. Let's see what happens. Alright, so watch. Yes. I don't want to do it. There's certain rules, I guess, that work well with this kind of costume. The pattern is super critical. So once you start breaking up the pattern, uh, you just have to be very aware of kind of what happens when you break it up like this. All right. I just want to put some shadows right in here. That means I have to do white webbing on black. All right. If it was a normal costume and didn't have webbing, I would just spot a black shape and just cast it across. hard for me to explain. I think you'd have to just kind of draw it and see what happens when you draw it. Alright, like so that black shape there, is that the blue part of the costume or is that shadow on the red? It's a shadow on the red, so then I feel beholden to um, draw the webbing lines over it. So let me just stop there for now. Take another photo. TJ Mittens, good morning. Yes, this is a sub. I don't, what are we at today? This is the sub giveaway for today. All right, um, okay. I need to get some, uh, I'll be right back, hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So I'm going to do this one, and then I'll do one other piece, uh, which will be um, a uh, silent auction. We haven't done one of those in a long time.
So these are just the different stages of the drawing. I'll put this up on Discord right now so you guys can see where we're at. I also post up a uh, drawing I did not too long ago, uh, which has uh, Stanley and Jack Kirby Galactus and Silver Surfer. There you go. Someone mentioned Kirby Crackle, so it sparked a memory. Um, DJ Mittens has resubbed. Thank you. Angry Panda 88 has cheered. Thank you very much, DJ Mittens, for the sub. Um, thank you for the uh, sweet words about what I wrote. It was very much from the heart. It took um, a lot of revision to get what I had in my head on paper. It was difficult, but I think it summed it up. Um, RJ3N, Arjean, sorry, Arjean has resub. Love you. Love you, Arjean. Love you, Jim. Thank you. Um, Batmark316 has subbed. Enter the Hammer has subscribed. The Felange has subbed using Prime. Moon Menion. And Brimstar have also subbed. Jedi Knight 64 has subbed using Prime. All right, great. This looks like a mess. I'm letting it dry. Um, let's move on to the uh, the silent piece of it all. I have an hour. I started late. So, um, Kanger Banger, no plans to appear on the DC Daily Show. They've got a ton of talent on there. If you notice, I'm, I'm probably less and less out there publicly than ever before in my career, and I'm it's a conscious decision. There's just a lot of stuff I'm working on, a lot of stuff I can't even talk about or shouldn't talk about. So it's better that I'm um, just kind of more behind the scenes than ever. Um, Quick draw 13. Um, how you doing? Okay. I was sent a picture by someone in San Diego during San Diego Comic, and the guy who's staying with owned an old school sketchbook of yours. It was Marvel era, very loose stuff. I'm sure it was stolen. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't think I've sold a sketchbook. Um, I had a bunch of them at the office. We moved. Um, things walked out, I think. Hey, Trevor Kai, how are you? Good to see you. All right. Um, for the silent auction piece, I don't know who I should do. Any thoughts? Any suggestions? Pandemus, thanks for the streams. I appreciate the time you spend doing these. A huge motivation for me personally. Thank you for the uh, support for uh, a year now. Pandemus. Thank you. Yeah, it's nice to have something in your life besides, you know, politics or uh, work or even relationships. You know, uh, art will always be there for you. So, it adds a nice dimension to things. All right, what are we doing? It's going to be another Stan, Stan Lee creation, so let's... Dark Phoenix. That's interesting. Psylocke. Psy uh, stand and create Psylocke. Technically didn't create Dark Phoenix, but... Fantastic Four. Crispy Egg Roll trying to put me in an early grave. I've got one hour, dude. 
inherent in Fantastic Four is four characters. Thor would be interesting. Iron Man. Magneto. Hmm. Grifter007 says Grifter. True to form. <laughs> Other people are saying Fantastic Four. Damn you all! Um... Yeah. I do like Thor. All right, let's do Thor. I don't think I've drawn Thor in stream. All right. Probably the one and only time I'll be drawing Thor. Love those boots. Love them because you don't have to draw the, um, the kneecaps. I always thought these like light blue studs on the chest and were strange looking as a kid, but I really dig them now. Drawing off camera. Twitch no no. I don't know about this. Trying to give him some of the uh, the power of Kirby's blockiness. I see all that. Let me uh, take another photo of that. here.
Okay, guys, sorry about that. Just sharing that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to adjust the camera, don't worry. All right, here we go. Let's start with the face. It's an upshot of the face. Light source is above it. I'm going to go a little smaller than the way I do it because I think the figure is too large for the uh, paper. So I want to just bring it in a little bit. It would also be good with my shot eyes to put some glasses on. But I don't see any. All right. I can see, I just have to <laughs> be far back. So for this, I'm gonna channel my inner Bill Sienkiewicz. I think he's the master of kind of creating realistic light effects and just upshots in general. He, of course, inspired by the other master at this, uh, Neil Adams. So you can see uh, how much smaller this head is. Hey, Ren Elephant, how you doing, man? We have our third mod in the house. Brought them all in. And so what will happen um, is the whole body will then shrink, which will allow me to bring it more on camera. It was just a little off, and so you'll see the implications of that tiny little head. I would not recommend this approach if you're, if you're just starting out. Meaning I would just pencil it all fully and then ink it. All right, so now I'm going to adjust the uh, proportions, but it's essentially the same pose. It's an upshot with the body kind of contorted, All right? So all it really means is this arm is gigantic, right? Everything just kind of shrinks a little bit. Belt comes up.
the cap comes up. So he just there's just a little bit more of him in the frame. So you can better see that he is standing on this rock. And then it also allows me to pull down the forearm a little bit. Although now I'm thinking this part's the part that's in shadow. Yeah, let's do that. All right, the light source is gonna be here. This is all in shadow. This will all be in shadow. This bicep completely in shadow. Everything down here, okay. Um, I have to draw down here. I just realized. You know what? Let's see if if I move this right there. That allows me to move it up. There we go. I think the, I think I jostled the camera one of the times I got up. And then we'll get back to this and finish it up in a bit. Okay. All right. So that disc is going to be in perspective, so it's going to be angled a little bit differently than this one over here. And this one will also be have its own kind of unique angle, and then this one will be really turned. Alright, here's the center line, peck. So I put a little dot there, remind myself that that's going to be black. His muscles are so defined that the, the rib cage muscles will pop through the armor of his tunic. some of the shadows a little bit more.
Um, that arm a little bit bigger. I don't know, here's the tricky part. The forearm going up in perspective. I'm going to start by drawing the top part of that wrist. Is it two, two red bands and a black band in the middle, or is it two black bands with red in the middle? Let's see. Uh, it's two red with a black in the middle. Actually, it doesn't even matter. I wasn't going to put color in there. These should probably line up. Good job, Jim. Okay, <clears throat> there's the cape. All right, 
and then I'm going to spot some shadows in there first and then that'll help me decide what I'm going to do in terms of the, uh, the rendering. I want this to be as high contrast as possible. The, the idea of keeping the hair translucent because it's blonde and have it be white and not have any core shadow but obviously I leaned against that so we'll see what happens And the same thing here. Got a dry brush thing. I'm kind of contemplating whether to go true black on that or just this kind of gray black. Right now, I'm kind of keeping it a gray black, but because I can always go darker if need be. And then that arm casts a shadow across his body as well. So I'm going to put black on this rock here. It's going to be raining with dark thunderstorms, of course, or clouds. And uh, so you will see that reflected in the image in a second.
taking the black straight up to the line. Alright. I'll clean that up with white out, obviously. So you can kind of see where we're at with this. Not really, I guess. Probably best to do it this way. And I'm going to now use uh, tissue paper to kind of do my Uh, dab up the excess ink here. I got, excuse me, got caught up on a bunch of this stuff. Spider Man 1963 has cheered. Thank you very much for the support. Brag, brag, brag has resubbed as Edgar Skyle and Snickety Snicked. Jay for Jules. Hey, Jim, who do you feel is the standard for art at DC, and which artists do you think exceed those expectations? Uh, sounds like an essay question. I think anyone that works at DC is there because they are of the standard that we want our artists to be at. Thank you, Ren Elephant. Ren says hi. Hello back, Ren. Glad you could make it. All right, let's do um, let's do some some happy storm clouds. Light source is going to be up here. like a mess. It is by design, I hope. You may go like, wow, that's jacked up. I think that looks actually pretty much where I want it to be. Kirihiko is streaming for you guys that are um, want to see some cool art. Go check her out. You can also um, watch two streams at the same time. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> I did want to comment, but I've had parents say like I, I like the fact that I can have my, my kids watch your stream. Okay. Um VZA in the house. She's probably watching, so it wouldn't be much of a surprise. Thanks for stealing it. Ink one is back. Hey Ben. Hey, welcome back. But that's a great idea, Victor. I'm just waiting for this to dry. It looks almost dry. All right, here's what we're going to do. Let's finish up, uh, well, let's get the Thor a little closer to being done. Okay, and by that I mean we will take um, this dirty piece of Kleenex toilet paper or what have, and then we'll fold it to find a part that is dry. And then I'll go in over the wet parts of the ink and kind of sop it up so I can work on this thing. All right, great. Now I'm going to go in lightly with an eraser, actually not too lightly. And uh, you'll see that as I erase it, because I haven't drawn everything up here, it actually looks like it's the light source for this, which was the intent. I'm not going to erase all the pencils because I do like pencils kind of showing through, but I am going to erase it where it's so heavy it actually starts um, interfering with the the image I want to actually appear. Okay. All right. So now this is all about um, creating as much contrast as possible. So we get a 0.4, and uh, you know what? Let's do this first. Let's. What's nice is that uh, to kind of build up your confidence, you go, okay, I'm going to do a proof of concept. What's an area that I'm going to take to completion on this that will show me what I'm trying to do with the rest of the image? And I'm going to start with, um, well, this isn't it, but I'm going to fix this cape here. All right, so I'm going to pull back some of the solid shapes against the smudged cloud shapes. All right, so you can see that cape restored to its glory. Okay. I'm going to pull that, these wings out. And the hair. So he's got his hair, and I'll add some detail back into it, but I need to cr establish the, the 3D elements of that hair a little bit better. Okay. Um, I'm 
gonna grad out that hammer in that face a little bit more. I'll pull out the um, the fist. Okay, the top part of that boot, and then the lower part of this cape. And then I set it aside to let the white out dry out. Because it, and I need a flat surface for it because there's so much of it that it uh, starts to pull due to gravity, the angle of the desk itself. And I don't want to have that kind of 3D aspect. I want it to kind of dry as flat as possible. So you can sort of see it right, right there. All right, but you can kind of see where we're at. So I'm gonna put this down on the ground, the flat ground, so it can dry flat. We'll go back to our Spider-Man here, and we'll do the exact same things where I'm basically pulling out the areas that shadow went. I forgot to, I skipped a step just to erase some of the pencils. A little thick here and there. screwed up there. We will go ahead and do the webbing that's going to be in the background, which will be up here. You guys get that? <clears throat> I hope. And uh, basically have to draw through here. I'm drawing to the black hair because I can still see it. Uh, and then of course I will use white out to pull out those those webbing strands.
smooth pencil moves. Uh, where do I find these the tools? Um, they're on the my Twitch page. I think there's a page which has all the um, tools that I use in the links if you are so inclined to buy the same tools. But I always tell people, like, you know, if you have the ability, try different tools and uh, use the ones that work for you that you like. Not everyone uses the same tools. You know. See how Thor's doing over here. Pretty good. Got to uh, wipe that out. Wipe out that smudge. Wipe that out. And. I don't like the uh, the webbing of the uh, Spider-Man piece, but it's lightning crackle. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Got to put this back down. Okay. Oh, I, I told you I'd fix this one here. So I'm going to do that. Okay. Let's go back to here. Animal abomination snake addiction. Uh, <laughs> snake addiction. 
I don't even know what that is. My version of a snake. Just uh, add a little bit more. Hopefully you can see that, it's starting to shape up, okay. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff on the art <laughs> on the table. That's why the backs of the sketches get very dirty. It's the ink and everything else that's on there. Anyway, okay, so let's let's see. We got uh, it's twelve fifteen. I got fifteen minutes or so. I'm gonna go in for a thinner marker if I have one. Yes, point point one, perfect. All right, now I can do some really kind of fine rendering. It's interesting, the, the light, the angle of the light is such that it's making the white out really pronounced. The funny thing is like when I look at it, you can't see it at all. All right, like if you look at it like here. I don't know. At this point, the camera's camera lens is more powerful than a human eye sometimes. Alright, 
right, so th this is all about creating values. And I'm going to do it through cross-hatching with a very thin marker, 0.1. And uh, thin marker cross-hatching over the... Um, over the um, dry brush creates a really nice kind of 3D effect. And just cleaning up some of these um, angles because the whiteout can be kind of blunt. Restores kind of the the hand drawn aspect of it, so it doesn't look like there's a big blunt kind of white brush or marker drawing the image. There, if you can see it, the glare kind of helps kind of prevents you guys from seeing it fully. But I'm going from uh, white up here and I'm going to just take it down to like a medium gray down here and then maybe even to more of a black down here. And then I'm going to add some fine detail, some finesse back into this hair. Add a little more detail to the face, All right? All right, what's going on out there? Will this be sprayed with protection layer at the end? No, I don't do any of that. You can do it if you want. Uh, the only stuff I would spray with that would be pencil drawing, so that you don't want that to smear. But this whiteout it has a substrate, <laughs> so like regular, hmm, what's it called? Paper. What was the company that made whiteout? Uh, it was like kind of an orangish yellow color um, bottle. That stuff will flake and chip. This Pentel stuff. The substrate in it is, um, which holds the white flakes, is pretty strong. I've never had an issue with it uh, yellowing, unless you use um, Sharpies on it, which I don't for that specific reason. But it does not chip. And I've been using them for... A long time, decades. So now I'm just kind of cleaning up the shapes. And 
add going back to the hair just creating a little bit of the detail of the hair hair so you see that Right again, the the lighting really kind of prevents it. I have something that's vibrating. I don't think it's my phone. <laughs> Is it? I'm completely spacing out. I don't even know where my phone is anymore. And I just had it a second ago. little bit of water, raindrops. But 
idea that uh, the, this hammer is kind of vibrating with so much energy, the lines are kind of literally shaking off. a shadow this way. Um, Yeah? Is it? Are you going to play PUBG now? In a little bit, okay? I'll come get you. Okay. Yeah, close the door there. Thank you. Hey, Jackie. the door for sure hundred percent I'm gonna fix the angle on this hammer here. Um, he plays the mobile version I think in the mobile version the game is uh, it's mostly bots I'm pretty sure it moves at a, a speed that's like close.
So I'm just adjusting values here. Again, creating uh, gray values, but also looking to darken. Go to black uh, where I can. In my head, I'm going to go back and white out and blow out some areas as well. this dry brush shadow um, the, but I'm still going to render in it just to kind of clean up the the shape and also just darken it just a little bit and make it look consistent with everything else I've got here. What are you guys talking about in chat? And <laughs> what's going on? I turned my back for ten minutes. Hold on one second. I need to get a point. I think this is a point five. Point five. I was gonna go for a point eight. we have um access 197 this is the best stream in a long time i'll take your word for it lactate and naughty activities i have no idea
All right. I think this Thor is almost done. I, I'm going to add some rain and some droplets, some splatter. Kind of heighten the, uh, the drama. And also take this leg to black here. So some of these electrical strikes so they're thinner. It's hard to get a very thin line with the uh, Pentel. So again, to make it look less like a weird marker had done these electrical lines, I can go back in and finesse them. All right, with this, um, I just need to clean up some of these. Same thing, clean up some of these web shapes. They're the very kind of, they look drawn by a weird object. All right, just clean those up a little bit. I will just now take a marker and add a little bit of rendering, some line weights, which I've covered before. All right. You have to use a fairly thick marker to make it compete and stand out from the um, the webbing, web lines, which have a certain value onto themselves. Uh, Golf Boy Sunday, hey, thanks for the uh, the cheers, the bits. If the mods want to um, place the, the URL of where we're going to go raid afterwards, uh, when the stream's over, we'd like to go to another creative's uh, stream and kind of drop in on them, say hello. Unless Kara is still streaming, we can go drop in on her. I 
She is still streaming. Fantastic. Betis has cheered as well. Thank you very much. Quick draw 13. Happy birthday. I guess your uh, birthday is Friday, Jamie. Awesome. SM Carti 313. Don't worry. I will not. Thank you for the cheers. Di Diaga 3. Diaga, uh, Diaga, e. Diaga 33 has resub. Bamfart has as well. Baha Maj Baha Mag Jaga <laughs> Ay 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 Um Cliff Wolfstream and Andrea and Androids have all subbed as well. Um I kill everyone. Any tips on cleaning the whiteout? Uh yeah, there's um you get your Starbucks card like this. Right, and I think no, it used to. I don't know. I think a metal ruler will probably work, but I'm sure if you just get like a damp sponge, damp sponge, and um, a little bit of soap if you so choose but I doubt it's necessary I haven't cleaned my desk in forever okay alright alright I'm going to just clean this up and uh, we'll give it away it is for sub tens, I believe. So that means uh, the stream is free, but and sometimes the sketches are as well. Alright, so I see that the stream is in a uh, emote only mode. Alright, which means that uh, if you want to be eligible, you have to type in um, specifically, not the bat one, but Jim Lee, that's capital J I M L E E, capital M A C E, Mace. That is proof that you are a sub 10. Uh, member and those are the only ones that will be eligible to to win here okay so you get the gist of it this is the uh, the giveaway I probably go in and continue to tweak it uh, even after this and uh, you know look for it on the discord channel at some point and eventually on Instagram and uh, let me see if I can sign it here I should have left room for it Okay. 
And this one is for you, Stan. Okay. All right, who do we got? Calzor has subbed. Spengy4, Sketchy7, Mr. Taz333 has cheered. Thank you very much. Appreciate it, Darth. Lori, thank you. Glad you guys have enjoyed the stream. Also, well, let, let's do the giveaway, and then we'll do some other stuff here. Um, all right. It's not set up, so there's no reason to type in anything right now, but um, you can if you want. All right. So the keyword is capital M or capital capital J I M. Capital J under uh, lowercase I M L E E. Capital M A C E. If you do that like so. No, that did not work. There we go. Sorry. It's lowercase, all lowercase, J-I-M-L-E-E, -E, capital M-A, and then A-C-E. That's right. Ren has it. So make sure that uh, if you do it properly, the uh, proper emoticon will appear. Okay? All right? And you have to type in something right now. Okay, and uh, so I'll just give it a couple minutes for those of you who just joined. Lowercase J-I-M-L-E-E, -E, capital M, lowercase A-C-E, will get you um, entered into this drawing. All right. Here we go. The winner is Axis 1970, following since January 8th of this year. Axis 1970, please type in the emoticon again to confirm who you are and that you are a sub 10. Let's see it, Access 1970. He's good? All right, great. Awesome. Thank you, Crispy. All right. And then, um, very quickly, we're going to we're gonna find out where we're going to go raid. And... Um, Kira has told me she's ending soon, so okay. Uh, this Thor piece. Let me just finish this up. There's still a little bit more I want to do. Do actually, it's a little bit of splatter. I'll turn it upside down for the purpose of this. Uh, in the meantime, though, can you guys please thank our incredible mods? We have Kirihiko, uh, Ren Elephant, Crispy Egg Roll. These guys are the ones that keep this all functioning, uh, keep things civil. Although I think there was some interesting conversation today. Um, they're also the ones that really uh, make sure the Discord channel runs properly, update it, keep everyone in the right swimming lanes, in the right chat rooms, channels, whatever. Uh, so please 
so please thank them. They are the gold of this stream. So there we go. I should sign this as well. The second sign in black. I might tweak it a little bit more too, but you get the idea, idea more or less. Let me see how it looks here. Let's see if I can do this right. Hard to tell. All right. All right. I will uh, disclose the uh, the mountain discord. Uh, the, the amount it went for in the Discord channel. Just um, happy birthday, Doodle Dude, 2018. Um, actually, it's 30. Whoever bid 3665 wins. All right. Thank you guys for um, tuning in. Like I said before, there will be no stream next week. It's a holiday. Uh, we are going to go raid somebody, so please hang in there for that. And again, thank you, uh, all the people that. Uh, uh, came in, tuned in. Thank you to the mods, people that bid on the piece, uh, and uh, for all the kind comments in stream and not-so-kind comments equally. Thank you for participating. All right, take care, guys.